some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a Kansas courtroom where a smooth brain Sovtard, who is rather confused about the reason why he's there, attempts to go pro se against the advice of the judge and questions who the victim of this crime is. You know, the typical sovereign citizen BS. So let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. Good afternoon. Your name, sir? Uh, David Walker. Your Honor, it looks like he has two files. I see that. Yeah. All right. We'll next take up two cases, both entitled State of Kansas versus David Wayne Walker, 22 CR 398 and 22 CR 508. All right. We'll first take up 22 CR 508. This is my case, Mr. Walker, you failed to appear in front of me on July 17th for your preliminary hearing control docket. Where were you that day? It's safe for sure, sir. Well, it's a safe bet that uh, you weren't at your last court appearance. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here right now. Okay, well, I issued a bench warrant bond forfeiture and set a new bond in the amount of $10,000 cash or surety. Are you still representing yourself? Uh, yes, sir. Do you want to continue representing yourself? Look at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the paper. Uh, yes, sir. Don't have any money to. Pardon? Yes, I guess I'll represent myself. Okay. You understand that if you can't afford to hire an attorney, one would be appointed for you. I, I don't know what he would do for me. Well, soft heart, uh, yeah, a, a lawyer would be able to represent you in a court better than you could ever do because, well, they've actually studied the law. So you might want to take advantage of that. But I have a feeling uh, possibly that he won't do that. So let's continue on. Okay. Well, he could provide you legal advice and perhaps advance any defenses you may have had. But if you want to represent yourself, you have that right. I just want to make sure you understand that if you can't afford an attorney and would like to have one represented you, I would appoint one for you. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. And you, you wish to continue representing yourself? Uh, yes, sir. Are you stupid or something? The docket notes don't reflect if a waiver of counsel was ever signed. Do you have any notes that would reflect that he's waived counsel on the record or otherwise, Ms. Norris? Your Honor, I just note that on December 30th of 2022, uh, defendant stated that he would hire his own counsel, and then he had a failure to appear, and uh, we... And on May 5th, we did not appoint any counsel. Um, I don't show an actual waiver. And, and the notes don't reflect that he did a waiver on the record. It just says that he would hire his own attorney. Okay. Well, Mr. Walker, you've indicated here on the record that you wish to waive your right to an attorney and represent yourself. So I'm going to have you, if the jail has one, sign a waiver of counsel. Do you have a form? Uh, I believe so. All right. Can you read through that? Make sure you understand it. If you have any questions, be sure to ask me. There is, there is yeah. no, there is no uh, um, defendant in the, I'm, I'm the defendant in the case. Am I the defendant in the case? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, are you just now figuring that out? I mean, the orange jumpsuit wasn't exactly a dead giveaway. I mean, what could have uh, made you figure this out? I guess it'll forever be a mystery. There's no, uh, there's no victim. There's no victim to my crime, correct? The crime that I'm accused of, there is no victim in the crime. The state of Kansas, you have drug charges, possession of methamphetamine, possession of paraphernalia, and driving while suspended are your three charges. Yeah, but no victim, correct? No victim in the crime? No victim? Oh, no victim, no crime. That fallacy is so damn... Passe. The reason why these laws exist is to prevent things from happening to people. Let's just give you a little scenario. Say you're going down a uh, street and there's a red light there. Well, it's a victimless crime, isn't it, to uh, go past that red light, to speed past it? Well, yeah, you may speed past it uh, a few times, but eventually you're going to not see a person crossing that crosswalk. And guess what? You got a victim on your hands. And you could have prevented that situation by realizing, well, that the laws are there for a purpose. And because you acted like an idiot, somebody has been expired. I, I'm not I'm not sure I understand your question and what that has to do with your waiver of counsel. Well I'm the I'm the defendant. There must be someone making a claim. The state, I, of, the state of Kansas is making the charges against you, Mr. Walker. The the state of Kansas is the victim. The state of Kansas charged you with these crimes. Do you wish to represent yourself or do you wish to have an attorney representing you? Um, I will re represent myself. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. And you've got a uh, waiver of counsel in front of you, correct? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Why, 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 why do I need to sign? Why do I need to sign it? Why do I need to sign this? Because I like to have it documented in the file that you understand that you have a right to have an attorney representing you, and that if you can't afford to hire one, one would be appointed for you, um, and you understand that, and knowing those rights, you wish to represent yourself. That just documents that for the court file. What I don't understand is why there are why there is uh, charges against me. When uh, when I, when there is no victim, she all right, Mr. Walker, I, I, I'm not going to play this game this afternoon. I'm going to set this case. Why would play in a game in front of me on? I'm asking questions. I'm really October. Asking questions. Trying to understand. Hey, uh, I don't know where you purchased your uh, smooth brain at, but you need to go back and exchange it for one with a lot more wrinkles in it and less lead as well, because that might help you figure out what's going on here and where your argument falls flat. Mr. Walker, your case is being set on October 10th at 2.30 in front of myself, and that will be done by Zoom. That's the felony. Preliminary hearing control docket, October 10th at 2.30. Um, Your Honor. You've got a $10,000 cash or surety bond on that case. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if I would be, uh, if I would be able to have access to um, certain legal things to, 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 uh, to, to be able to Put my case up. Yeah, smooth brain, uh, something like a, uh, you know, a uh, public defender, something of that nature, somebody who can actually help you out. Yeah, that might be a good idea for you to get. I believe yeah, I they've got a law, law library there at the jail. I'm well, not sure what, right. what kind of access they provide to you, but you can consult with somebody there at the jail. Okay. Hey. All right, I'm now going to take up. 22 CR 398, 
This is Judge Webster's case. Looks like he failed to appear in front of her on July 31st. She set a new bond for $6,000 cash or surety. You've already had a first appearance, so I'm going to set this in front of Judge Webster on October 30th at 9 o'clock in the morning. That will be by Zoom, October 30th at 9 o'clock in the morning. So again, your bond is 6000 cash or surety. Anything else on this case, Ms. Norris? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Your Honor, was the uh, the time for court on October 10th for 22 CR 508, was that 2.30? That's correct. Just, just clarifying. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. We'll be in recess. Mr. Walker, you are excused. Thank you. Well, dude, uh, apparently you're going to be uh, going to trial, going pro se, and, well, uh, I wish you luck on that because a man who represents himself in a court of law has a fool for a client. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.